Hello, welcome to this video about installing BMC Decision Support for Server Automation. In this video, we will see how to install version 8.5 of BMC Decision Support for Server Automation on the Windows platform. The 8.5 release supports both GUI and silent installation. In this video, we will see how to install BMC Decision Support for Server Automation by using the installation wizard. After you extract the installation files, you need to double click the setup.exe file in the disk1 directory. The language selection screen appears. Select the installation language and click OK. On the welcome screen, click Next. Read the BMC end user license, accept the agreement and proceed. Now read the third party software end user license agreement, accept the agreement and proceed. The directory selection screen is displayed. Here you can accept the default installation directory or you can specify a different directory in which to install the product. So one thing to remember, if you specify a different directory, you must specify an absolute path. If you specify a relative path, installation will fail. Click next to proceed. The agent logs directory selection screen is displayed. You can accept the default directory or you can specify a different directory in which to store the RSCD agent logs. By default, RSCD agent logs are stored in the agent logs directory under the installation directory that you specified in the previous step. To proceed, click Next. In the database type selection screen, select the database type of your report server and proceed. If you have chosen Microsoft SQL Server, the installer validates whether the bulk copy program or BCP utility is installed. If the utility is not installed, the installer shows an error. If you have chosen Oracle as the database type, the Oracle Client Path Information screen is displayed. Browse to the directory in which you have installed the 32-bit Oracle Client. If you have already set the value of the Oracle underscore home variable, then the Oracle Client Path field is populated with the value of the Oracle underscore home variable. Otherwise, this field appears blank. Note that the Cognos 10.2 now requires Oracle 32-bit client on 64-bit computers. Also. Installing the 64-bit Oracle client and copying 32-bit libraries into the lib32 directory will not work as it worked in the previous releases. To proceed, click Next. The Cognos installer zip path information screen is displayed. In this panel, you need to specify the path in which you downloaded the Cognos installer zip file. With this release, the Cognos installer is shipped separately from the product. You can download the Cognos installer zip file from the BMC Electronic Product Download or EPD site. After you specify the path, the installation program validates the Cognos installer zip file. If the Cognos installer is invalid, the BMC installer shows an error. To proceed, click Next. The Console Administrator password screen is displayed. Here you need to create a password for the BMC decision support for Server Automation Console Administrator. The default user ID for the console administrator is BDS admin. You will also need to confirm the password. Make a note of this password. After the installation is complete, you must use the BDS admin user ID and this password to log on to the BMC decision support for server automation console to configure the product and perform administration tasks. After configuring the product once, you can change this password. After you configure the product by using the BDS admin user credentials and run ETL once, you can also use other user credentials to log on to the console. To proceed, click Next. The communication protocol and ports information screen is displayed. Here you need to select the communication protocol. For a secure communication in your environment, choose HTTPS. HTTPS is the default protocol. Verify the port numbers and ensure that the communication through this ports is possible in your network. The installer validates the ports. If the specified ports are not free for use or are not valid, installer shows an error. To proceed, click Next. The Tomcat Web Server Certificate Information screen is displayed. In this panel, enter the information required to generate the HTTPS certificate and proceed. The Tomcat Web Server Memory and System Options screen is displayed. Enter the required information. The default values are recommended values. To proceed, click Next. And now, review the installation summary and click Install. If you want to configure the product immediately after the installation, click the specified URL to launch the BMC Decision Support for Server Automation console. The console opens in your web browser. 
log on with the BDS admin user credentials created in a previous step. If you do not want to configure the product now, bookmark the console URL so that you can launch the console later and then configure the product. And finally, click done. The installation is complete. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, you can see the BMC Online Technical Documentation Portal.